I'm Jackie Delaney, and I'm showing my work at Wilmington College's uh, Boyd Art Center right now. And the name of the exhibition is Convivial. And it's a survey of my work from the last 13 years. And I'm showing uh, my fossilized fish, which are real fish I fused in glass. And I started making those in about 2008 and until about 2011. The next artworks are uh, mostly a bubble wrap in various forms. Um, I start by uh, making my fist in glass wrapped in bubble wrap. And then I did the heads that you see in the gallery and that's called hollow core casting. So the inside of that was plaster, silica, the head was, and then the glass went around that, and the outside of that mold was also plaster, silica. And each one of those pieces takes about eight weeks in a kiln to make, and then uh, we did a lot of glass polishing at the end to make those. I really like working with light as an artist. Um, I like mixing colors of light to make different colors. And so when I started working with the colored glass and the cubes, um, I actually was mixing glass color in the casting. So it was interesting to see uh, what colors the castings would be, and then uh, how the bubble wrap would shape the glass. And one of my favorite pieces in the gallery is uh, Bubble Wrap Child 2. And this is the second iteration of this piece. And it's about 150 pounds of solid glass. And I had a troop of about eight to 10 people that helped me pour the glass in the mold for this. And the mold was in a kiln at 1500 degrees. And we were ladling glass in that was at 2000 degrees uh, to fill up this mold. And when we loaded that mold into the kiln, um, it weighed 900 pounds and we had to use a forklift to move it into, in, into the kiln. And uh, at night we like to say that it runs around and checks on things. The cranberry volume piece based on or inspired by Kintsugi art uh, where they break apart the ceramics and put it back together with uh, gold. Uh, I broke that piece apart and I put it back together with dyed uh, Hextal, which is a two-part epoxy. And that is what gives the piece its colors. And last year in 2019, I did a residency at the works in Newark, Ohio. And that's where I made the uh, pyramid pieces uh, with bubble wrap on those. And so I made those in all different colors with the bubble wrap on one side and then they're polished. And I like putting them at the different angles because the light flows through them uh, differently and I like seeing the shadows. So that's why they're at different ways throughout the gallery. I always like to hide artwork in all my exhibitions. I did this with my thesis exhibition and uh, various other exhibitions. So in this exhibition, I hid some Mona Lisa's and those are made by pouring hot glass over a carved graphite mold. And I put those at about two and a half feet high and I like to see if people see them or not and how they interact with them. And there are four in the exhibition. Uh, the next piece uh, to talk about is uh, the teddy bear. Uh, that's my most recent work of glass in the ex exhibition. I made that when I poured actual plaster silica on a real teddy bear. And then uh, we had the fun of taking the teddy bear out of the mold and the teddy bear did not come out in one piece. Uh, we had to take it apart. Um, it was a Build-A-Bear, so it had a heart in it, which is uh, scary if you don't know what that is. Um, and then I cast that and that's how we get that texture of the bear on there. And that piece is probably about 20 to 30 pounds and I used an amber glass. And the next pieces to talk about in the gallery are the holograms, which are the uh, images on the wall there, and they are rainbow transfer holograms. And you can tell they are real holograms because if you put two lights on them, you, you will see two holograms, and it's nice to see them again and in all the colors. Um, it's, it's neat when you can step about 40 feet back from an artwork and see it perfectly clear. 
I was originally supposed to exhibit this work last fall and that got canceled because of COVID. And then Hal asked me to exhibit this spring. So I said yes, because who doesn't want to exhibit their work? And so um, here it is now at the gallery for everyone to see. And uh, we're gonna make this video. So uh, thanks for taking a look at the exhibition and thanks for making this video.